Hi, it's me again. Did you realize that the biggest benefit of intermittent fasting has nothing to do with weight loss? Okay, so the biggest benefit has to do with this new concept called autophagy. I don't know if you've heard about it before, but if you haven't, you're going to hear about it, but it's incredible actually. Autophagy is the condition or state whereby the cells are recycling damaged cell parts, okay? So it's a recycling, it's taking out the trash, clears all the trash out of the cell. Um, it's also getting rid of pathogenic microbes, okay? So basically anything like mold, fungus, bacteria, virus sitting in the cell, and anything that's damaged, not working. So each cell has a little garbage disposal called the lysosome composed of enzymes to break down these parts into small little particles, which are then sent to the liver to be used either as energy or recycling into new tissue, okay? Autophagy was discovered by a Japanese scientist in 2016. So just think about the magnitude. If you were able to extract pathogenic microbes, damaged things out of your cell, think what's gonna to happen to your brain, cognitive effects, anti-aging for your skin, longevity, immune system. It's incredible. So the thing that stimulates this the most is fasting and intermittent fasting. Okay, that's number one. So if you're not fasting or doing intermittent fasting, you need to start that immediately, okay? I put a link down below, more information on that. But there's some other things that will also increase it to some degree, not near as much as intermittent fasting, but olive oil, uh, aerobic exercise, that would be like low intensity, exercise, walking, yoga, things like that. Then we have sulforaphane, which is basically a phytonutrient category with all the cruciferous type vegetables, okay? Interesting, we always come back to the cruciferous. Vitamin D3 will increase it. Uh, B3, vitamin B3 will also do it. The phytonutrients in coffee, but again, if you're gonna do coffee, just do a small amount. Uh, green tea coconut, and there's many more things on the list. So this then makes sense because if you take a look at someone who's eating frequently, they're raising insulin over a period of time, they become insulin resistant, pre-diabetic, become a diabetic. I mean, look what happens to the cognitive function, look what happens to the cells, they age fast, they get inflammation, they have poor immune system. So I put a little link down below to get more data in a minute fasting, all right? Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press this little button down below, okay? Thanks.